Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Alex Tech Review. Today I'm talking about Samsung and why they feel in Chinese market. Alright, I don't have to give out too much background information about Samsung phones because it's so popular and you see it everywhere. And you may using the Samsung phone at this moment or you are streaming this video on the Samsung phone. So, you know Samsung well, maybe better than me. But what you maybe don't know so much is why Samsung phone can't do well in China. I mean, the market share of Samsung phone is pretty low right now. So what the exact number of the market share of Samsung phone in China? Can you guess it out? I give you four options. 5%, 3%, 2%, or 1%. All right, just as I described it as a proper low number, I think some people could guess it out, like 2 or 1%. But the truth is more hurting, actually. It's less than 1%. Yes, you don't hurt it wrong. Less than 1%. Exactly number is like 0.8%. It's unbelievable, right? The global market share of Samsung phone is around 20%. And sometimes when the sellers is booming, this number is going to be like 25% or even nearly 30%. But in China, it's only less than 1%. So why most Chinese people don't buy Samsung phone anymore? Or why did they switch their Samsung phone to some Chinese brand phone? Let's give you the answers. Okay, let's go back to the 2013, the best moment of Samsung phone. At that moment, Chinese market liked Samsung phone so well because the flagship of Samsung phone looks really premium. If you want to choose a high-end, or we say choose a flagship smartphone. The first choice, of course, is Apple, the iPhone. Except iPhone, if you like Android phone, if you like some other choices, you don't want to always buy iPhone, you want to try something new, or you just want to buy some phone, different phone notes, the best choice may be Samsung phone. And the S series, the Note series, series sells so well in China because some people like the big screens. And of course, in 2013, we have to say the Android system is, is not perfect as perfect as today. Uh, so there are a lot of problems. Compared with some new smartphone makers in China, Samsung was still a big brand and people recognize it. People like it. At that time, Korean TV series, Korean pop stars started to become so popular in China. So Samsung film is kind of brand of cool. People accept it, its price, but only after two years, the situation becomes so different. So, what is the reason? I have to say the most important one is the price. People are not so sensitive about the price in 2013 because they don't have other choices. They, there is no compare reason, or we say they always compare the Samsung phone flagship with iPhone. So if the Samsung flagship price is lower than iPhone, people think, okay, it's good budget. But in 2015, the situation becomes so different. At that time, Xiaomi launched like three generations of their phones and the price is still like be the same as the first generation flagship, nearly 300 US dollars, which is much, much lower than the price of Samsung for flagship. But I have to say the experience. The experience is pretty close to Samsung phone at that time. And the Oppo, Vivo, and some other brands like Meizu also did so well in the past three years from 2013 to 2015. They launched their new flagships, they improved their UIs, their skins, their designs. And I have to say, sometimes if you only have $300, you cannot buy a Samsung flagship. What you could buy is budget Samsung film. But the budget Samsung film, I have to say, the experience is so bad. So if you really tried the budget Samsung film, it's highly possible you feel regrettable. And that's why the price really might matters. And the second reason that is about the experience. Samsung film, the premium feelings, the premium designs, and some photo taking features is great. But the question is, in most situations, what people care about is, is it, is it smooth? Is it everything? What people hate the lagging issues. But, you know, when all the angels cannot avoid this problem, 
the expanded sample flagship could avoid these problems. But what is sad is Samsung cannot solve all these problems because they cannot make the Android system perfect. Maybe Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo is good enough. They all have these problems. Even the flagship of Samsung cannot solve the problems. And the price is nearly half of the flagship. Why? Why should I choose Samsung? So, the competition between Oppo, Xiaomi, and Samsung have made Samsung lose a lot of market, especially its budget phone market. From 100, I have to say, to $400 phone. Most people would choose buy the Chinese brand. But they still keep the high end market. So, some people say, why Samsung cannot hold the high end like Apple? You know, in China, Apple still sells so well in recent years. It is the largest market shareholder. In October of China. It's amazing. In today's situation, Chinese customer like Apple. But Samsung can't do it. Why? Actually, it's not because Samsung phone is not good. The only reason is Chinese brand keep improving themselves in a very, very fast speed. Just like Xiaomi, Oppo, they listen to the customers so well. They could interact with the customers, the online users directly, uh, much directly than Samsung. You know, Samsung is a global brand. They may care about the Korean people more. They could interact with Korean people perfectly well. But they don't have enough energy to spend on every market. Not like Xiaomi, Oppo, they are a Chinese brand and they don't have a global so they could global strategy at that time, so they focus on Chinese people. They spend a lot of time on Chinese people. What do they think? What does it need? And how can I improve it? It's amazing that Xiaomi could update the system once per week during some period. This is amazing, right? Well, this is crazy. Updating the system just every one week just to follow the Mi fans ideas. This is something I can do. And after 2015, uh, a lot of brands started to provide the high-end products. A lot of people started to recognize that the Chinese brand could also do a really good job. For example, the most important one is Huawei, of course. The photo-taking qualities, the photo-taking features sometimes become better than Samsung. And this is the first time Chinese customer have a feeling, have some kind of problem that their own product, their own brand could do better than foreign brand. So a lot of people start to become a fan of Huawei. And of course, Huawei is a very, very important factor that's why Samsung lose their last high-end market. I witnessed this trend. In 2014, when I go around to see my friends, to see, see my parents' friends, visiting my relatives, actually I still see a lot of Samsung films, but only after like two years in 2016, or from the end of 2015, a lot of people started to change their phone to Huawei. And they have a lot of Great experience of Huawei. Every time they talk about Huawei, they have a very good feelings of it. First, it solved the battery drain issues. A lot of people complain about Samsung is the battery life is so short. It cannot last all day, but Huawei actually is the first manufacturer to make batteries so big. We well, see the maintenance system of Huawei make sure you see some apps cannot run in the background. This is Samsung can do because they don't know the Chinese apps so well like Huawei or Xiaomi. This is something that cannot be easily solved if you don't know Chinese apps uh, environment or you don't know how the Chinese people use their apps. If you assume that they use the same apps like the foreigners, especially like the US people or Japanese people, you make a big mistake. What's, what they use is quite quite different from the people from outside of China and the apps they use sometimes cannot be optimized by Android system itself. So you have to make sure your system have some special improvement for these apps. And a lot of Chinese brands started doing this from actually from 2014. But Samsung started doing it really, really late. Uh, for example, I think from 2017 or 2018, they started doing this, but it's too late. So a lot of people don't have an issue of using Samsung phone outside of China because of Google services and some sound services work so fine, but in China, they just find it doesn't feel right. Why is the powering drain issue is always there? Why some apps cannot be controlled in the background? They always have this kind of complaint, so, but when they use Huawei, the situation has been solved, so they like Huawei a lot. It's how I find people start to switch the Samsung phone to Huawei. 
So even the high market share cannot be held for Samsung. So the market share of Samsung phone keep going down from 8% to 5% to 3% and after this years to 1%. It's very sad. The last recent highlight moment of Samsung phone in China actually happened in 2019. That's the time of S10 series. At that time, people are talking about the designs, talking about um, you know, the three different flagships uh, S10e, S10, S10 Plus, and a special edition that is S10 Plus 5G. It still is quite rare, much better than most people thought. But this only lasts like two months. After two months, people started to have new complaints of S10 series, and people stopped buying it because people still like Apple and Oppo or Huawei much better than S series. And of course, foldable phone is the last chance for Samsung to show that it te its technology or show its innovation capability. A lot of country doesn't have a competitive foldable phone. Perhaps the situation is quite different in China. China is the largest, we say, the largest market of the foldable phone. Not just because customers are accept for the phone, it's also because there are a lot of different manufacturers in China. But this is a really, really bad news for Samsung. If Samsung is the only one for the phone maker in China, the sellers of Samsung phone may be booming in some moment because you, when you have to buy a phone, phone, you have to buy Samsung. But <laughs> China is a very special market. The manufacturers are really, really powerful, and Huawei, of course, one of the most important. Uh, competitor of Samsung in 2019 2020 launched uh, two generations of foldable phone and the sellers is much better than Samsung phone. And a lot of comparison reason we say between the Huawei one and the Samsung one is the result is pretty clear. I mean, most of the comments think Huawei films is better than Samsung's foldable films. Why? First, the body ratios. The front screen of Samsung foldable series is 21 to 9 ratio. This ratio makes, we say, typing, game playing experience very, very bad. But Huawei, we say, the front screen is more like a normal film. It's shorter than the Samsung front screen, but it's wider than the Samsung front screen. So it, the, the user experience is much superior to Samsung if you just compare about the front screen. But if you open, you know, the first generation of Samsung film have camera part. So the screen is not a whole screen, but compared with Huawei, Huawei has a full screen, even without a camera, punchable camera. So a lot of people think Huawei is a perfect one and Samsung is just a prototype. That's why Samsung cannot win trans people's heart. But after the second generation, so I can get improved, but it's still a lot of people to buy Huawei. Even after the third generation comes out, Mm, Samsung phones for phone in China doesn't sell so well, even if the global market share of Samsung for phone is around 70%. So, today I'm talking about the price, the user experience, and competitors of Samsung. The most important factor, I have to say, is the price. And second, the competition is so crazy in China. You cannot find a place that no others doing it. So Samsung find the competitors everywhere, just like recent days, the Oppo joined the football makers team. So they started to match their own football films, and Samsung has a more competitor. That's why it's so hard to survive in China. But this is quite good for the customer, actually. And you're living in China right now, you have a lot of different choices. And the discount is always good, because if you want to survive in China, you have to give out discount after two or three months. Maybe it's ex just except to Apple. Uh, somebody may ask right now, can Samsung make it back to take some more market share in the future? I have to say it's hard, almost impossible. China, first, Chinese customer doesn't have a very good loyalty of Samsung film. I mean, when they mention Samsung film, they don't have some loyalty, some respect. The feeling is Samsung? Uh, Maybe not. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Most people have this kind of feeling. So it's hard to make sure people would spend some time on the Samsung products. So it's hard for the, the Samsung marketing department to let people have the awareness of Samsung new products. Except the Samsung fans. Not many people care about Samsung products. This is 
really, really a difficult situation. And except this, the price is still an important factor in Chinese market right now and in the future. There are a lot of different film series. Today you can spend like $300 to buy a quite good film in China. Can we give some hope of something in Chinese market? For example, do something that Chinese brand can do. Roll over phone? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But Obo has some concept of films of robot films, so some some so far didn't have a prototype. I don't think they can really become a market leader. It's hard. But as a Samsung fan, I hope Samsung still keep doing because one percent market share still have some meaning. And this will also promote the Samsung other products. For me I still like Samsung TV. Okay, this is Alex. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe this channel.